Supply chains are becoming longer and more complex, and not only for large manufacturing, energy and pharmaceutical companies. These days, those sectors are joined by media, software development, communications, finance, R&D and leisure. In fact, companies of all industries and sizes. Everyone wants to bring new products and services to market quicker, cheaper and more reliably. This means having a wide range of partners and suppliers that you can choose from, which is something that supply chain management software allows. This is all well and good, but the upshot is increased complexity. Core to managing these increasingly lengthy and complex supply chains are good communications, clear oversight and continuous process improvements. This is where Unified Communications and Collaboration Technologies, or UCC, can make a real difference. UCC allows seamless collaboration across multiple channels including voice, data, video and secure document exchange helping to unify the supply chain, the distributed workforce and the business strategy around a core set of standard technologies. Over the course of this brief video I'll be looking at how businesses can deploy tools that they're already using elsewhere to smooth the path from conception through product development to production, decreasing time to market and lowering costs in the process. First, let's look at a recent survey into the communications and collaboration tools in use. Almost three quarters are using video and audio conferencing with web conferencing tools like Skype for Business just below that. Also mentioned were instant messaging, social collaboration tools like Box and Yammer, and of course, mobile VoIP. But surprisingly, when we asked if these tools are being used with external suppliers, contractors and vendors, so not just within internal teams, these numbers dropped off significantly. Companies chat regularly with suppliers, followed by contractors, consultants and vendors. But traditional methods such as face-to-face -face meetings or chatting on the phone were preferred in all of these cases. 80% of organisations are communicating with suppliers through traditional means, but just half of that number are utilising their UCC environment to meet those very same suppliers. This suggests that the tools at hand are being woefully underused. I think the supply chain is an exciting opportunity for unified communications. Organisations today, most organisations, effectively have deployed UCNC internally to enhance communication capabilities for their sales force, for IT, and there's a lot of logic and benefits to that. Extending that to the supply chain, I think, can bring enormous benefits to organisations. Supply chain management is all about effective communication. Today, supply chains are growing, they're becoming more diverse, they're usually in locations all over the world. Being able to manage your supply chain with effective communication and use good tooling to be able to do that, such as Skype for Business, for example, makes incredible sense to me. And I think partnering with the right people to help you understand those business benefits is certainly an option you should consider. The core requirements for successful integration to Unified Comms is effectively understanding your existing environment and what you want to achieve from your future environment in terms of UCNC. A lot of organisations today want to integrate and migrate. They don't want to rip and replace their existing infrastructure because there's a significant amount of investments happened in that space. I think working with partners and doing sessions around understanding how you can do that transition and best utilise your existing technology to migrate to your future technology is essential when doing a UCNC evaluation and deployment. A UCNC strategy around user adoption and training when deploying a communications and collaboration environment is essential. The user should be at the very heart of your thinking. They're going through a big shift change from an existing environment to a new environment. And many people in your organization may not have you know, good knowledge on using a soft client or using an IP phone. So having a deep understanding about some of the considerations and the transformative nature of how to do that implementation is important. So partnering effectively with organizations that can do those user adoption services or having a user adoption team internally to identify different types of, types of users, what, they, what the environment they're working in and how they can best use the new technology is important. Another area I'd say is important is around executive and PAs, making sure that your sponsors, your key sponsors within your organisation are trained effectively and understand the technology can be a hugely effective way of actually spreading the use of that tool within your organisation.
Using multiple UCNC systems in the same organisation can cause a lot of complexity for the user. Typically, if you have one UCNC system for, let's say, conferencing, another for voice and video, it can be confusing on which, which service to use and how to use it. Um, user adoption, obviously training is, is becomes far more complex to actually make sure that you're training the people on the right products and services within their organization. And then that's usually compounded by there can be a lot of technical difficulties and challenges around deploying multiple UCNC systems, around routing of calls and enabling video to be established within your environment. There are many ways that UCC can improve supply chain management simply as a result of facilitating communications. First, UCC can also shorten product development cycles by speeding up the idea sharing and approval processes between the disparate teams involved, reducing time to market and adding to the bottom line. This becomes much easier when all parties are communicating on the same platform. Secondly, the supply chain can be mined for useful knowledge. The majority of a product's costs are determined by decisions taken early on in the design phase. UCC allows the expertise of the supply chain to be integrated more easily into those early designs. And a third important example is decreasing the time it takes to mitigate disruptive events. Any disruption to supply lines can be extremely expensive, and UCC tools can make errors easier to spot and quicker to nip in the bud. And fourthly, in all areas of the supply chain, the cycle of problem solving and incident management can be escalated as required with technologies like video conferencing enabling all parties, suppliers, distributors and customers to quickly grasp the situation and to take appropriate action. The positive impact of simply bringing people together on a unified platform should not be underestimated. Simplifying communication facilitates understanding and ultimately revolutionises the process of doing business. To learn more about how to better use your UCC tools to get more out of your supply chain, including the importance of formulating a strategy and getting buy-in at all levels, click the link on this page.